Hi, I'm Mitch Mitchell. So I'm going to start off by showing you my phone. This is my phone. I have a Samsung Galaxy 5. The story actually starts about 9.30 this morning when I decided I needed to go get a haircut. My hair grows really fast, and in some videos you see my hair, you know, it's a little more voluminous than it is now. And this is an odd thing to say, but it's the truth. Most white people don't notice when your hair is bad if you're a black person. I notice it because now that I'm 56, and I am 56, I get gaps in my hair. Now, I'm also over six feet tall, so, you know, people who are shorter or my height can't really see it all that much, but I have gaps in the hair. And the white hair goes wherever it wants to go. It doesn't pay attention to anything. I have tried to put different types of oil on it. I've tried uh, Vaseline type stuff, whatever, and it just laughs at me. So, basically, I have to keep it relatively short in order to do anything with it, or at least to feel normal. So, this morning, I decided to go get a haircut. So, I go to the same place I go all the time, which is called Collins Barbershop, down in the city of Syracuse. And I get in, I get my hair cut, feeling pretty good. The guy goes to show me the mirror. I can't ever tell what it looks like by those little mirrors. I'm sorry, I just, I can't see it. It doesn't matter. I have to take my glasses off, pull it close, but then I can't see anything anyway. So, I go to the car, and I go to take a picture of my haircut so that I can send it to my wife. And you know, when you're taking a picture of yourself, you use this side. But, I turn on the phone, and I turn on the camera, and it's facing the other direction, and it's all hazy, and it looks all bad. And I said, what? what's that about? And I put my hand in front of it, and it won't focus, and the haze won't go away. So, I'm thinking, oh, I got to clean the, you know, clean the part. So I get my little rag out. I go to clean and it's broken. The cover is broken. I said, well, when did that happen? Now, I know that I dropped it yesterday, but I was in the house. I dropped it on the rug. I don't think that's it, but you know, it was broke. That's the best I knew. So I said to myself, self, let's not go all the way back home. Let's swing over to the mall. Now, we have, I think it's either the second or third largest mall in the nation. It's called Destiny USA. And they have this gigantic Verizon store in there. They closed a small location, decided to open up a really big one. I'm with Verizon. So I said, you know what, I'm going to go over there and see what it would take for me to get this fixed. So I go into the mall, and I walk to the place. And this guy comes over to help me, and I tell him my phone number, and he goes and looks it up, and he comes back out, and he says, well, I got to tell you the truth. For us to do something with it, you're going to initially have to pay a $150 copay. I'm like, what? And my mind is thinking, copay, isn't that healthcare? <laughs> because I'm a healthcare finance consultant. No, I'd have had to pay $150 just before they even did anything else. I'm thinking, my goodness, I only paid a penny for the phone. You know, one of those deals. If you saw my very first video a long time ago, You'll have heard that story. So, I'm thinking, oh my God, this is going to cost a lot of money. But he then says, you know, if it's me, I'm taking my phone to one of the kiosks here in the mall. Because the kiosks fix phones, they fix pads, they fix laptops, they do all sorts of things. And it'll cost you way less than it's going to cost us. I said, really? He says, yeah, you can probably get something done for, you know, maybe $25 to $50. I'm thinking, whoa, major deal. So I go to a kiosk. I go to the first kiosk. The guy says, geez, you know what? I don't have that, but I'll clear away this glass, and at least you should be able to use it for a bit. I said, okay, fine. So he says it's going to take about 20 minutes. I said, I'll go to the food court, get something to eat. So I go to the food court. Now, here's the thing about today's malls. There's no cameras anywhere. There's just no cameras. And here's a new thing about today's world. So I get my bourbon chicken at Cajun Cafe, I sit down, and now I'm realizing I ain't got nothing to do because <laughs> we've gotten used to taking our phones. I have Flipboard so I can read the news, I have CNN on here, I have Twitter, I have all these things that I can do. I have a whole bunch of electronic books on the phone. So I didn't know what to do. So I basically said, okay, I'm going to just eat my food and look around here at the food court, and when I'm done eating this... I will take a brief walk on the second floor and I'll go back over. Because just because he said it's going to take 20 to 30 minutes doesn't necessarily mean it will. 
So, I eat my bourbon chicken while watching these couple of little kids running around. And I think, okay, that's kind of cute. I do that. I put my stuff in the garbage. I do my little short walk. I end up back over there. And the guy says, oh, I've cleared away all this glass. So I look at the thing and I put my hand over it and it won't focus. I said, well, geez, I seem like I still have an issue here, but you did what you did. You know, he said, yep, $10. Okay. So I pay this guy $10 for at least clearing off the glass. That means I'm not going to cut myself. So I'm thinking, well, you know what? There's other kiosks in here. As a matter of fact, there's one that my wife and I always go to to buy the cases that you put the phones in. So I said, let me walk over there. And I go over there, and I see the guy, and I said, hey, you know, this thing broke on my phone. He looks at it and says, oh, we have that. I said, oh, really? He says, yeah, but you have to go downstairs to the main uh, place because that's what they do down there. Up here, I do some minor things, but down there is where they take care of things like this. So I take the escalator down, and I get the guy behind there, and I'm just going to say this right now. I got, I got some Arabs. I got Muslims. And you know what? I don't care because I don't have a problem with Muslims. I'm, I'm just, I have no problem with anybody. I have problem with terrorists, but I'm not the guy saying that all Muslims are terrorists. I'm just letting you know that up front. So the guy looks at the phone. And he says, oh, yes, I can replace that. That would be $35, and it's going to take about a half hour. I'm thinking, wow, I still got a great deal here. You know, Verizon starting at $150 and then going up. This guy, 35 Wonderful. I said, I don't really know what to do, but I'll take a wall ma wall, a mall walk. <laughs> so I take a walk around the mall. Now I do this occasionally because, you know, I live in central New York. It gets cold. This is the type of season where it gets cold. Now it was probably getting close to 50, which is amazing for December in the Syracuse area. But it was a little, you know, it was just off. I wasn't in the mood. So I walked the mall. So I walked the mall. And then I decided, you know what, I'm going to go down to Cold Stone Creamery and get some ice cream. So I buy some ice cream, and I'm just not in the mood to eat it. So after a few spoonfuls, I throw it away. So there's a waste of six bucks, but that's okay. You know what, I'm getting my phone fixed. So I head back over to where this guy is, and my phone is all still in pieces laid out. And the guy says to me, oh, geez, I was hoping you'd come back earlier. I'm thinking, you said go away half hour. And remember, there's no clocks anywhere in the mall. So he said, the problem turns out that it's not just that, but it damaged the little thing on the inside, which if you look at this, you can't, you don't know that there's another little thing in there, but there is. He says it damaged that. We've got to replace that to get the whole thing working. I said, okay, well, how much is that? He says, well, now the total will be $85 plus tax. Now, of course, you hear $85, you're like, dag. But I'm still thinking, hey, wait, well, you know what? That's still almost half what that $150 was going to start at Verizon. So I said, okay, go ahead and do it. I said, how long is that going to take? He says, an hour. Now, I'm like, what am I supposed to do? I spent 20 minutes already eating or doing whatever. I spent 30 minutes walking the mall. What am I going to do for an hour in the mall? I could get in my car and go back home, but why do that? I could have gone to the library. I could have left, but the mall is now going to start getting crowded. It's going to be hard to find a place to park when I get back. So the other guy who's there says, well, there's no bookstores in here, but you can always go catch a movie. So I look down and I said, well, I guess I can always go catch a movie. I said, you know, what time is it about right now? He says, it's about 10 after 12. So I go upstairs to the movie, and Destiny is on the third floor. So I go up to the third floor, and we have an IMAX theater. So when it's my turn, I go to the guy and say, okay, what can I go see in the IMAX theater? And he says, well, we've got, uh, I can't remember what the other movie was, but he says, we got Creed. I said, oh, I will watch Creed. So he gives me a ticket to go see the movie Creed. And I go in there, and it's still a couple of previews. I'm thinking, okay, this is kind of cool. At least I didn't miss the beginning of the movie. And although I really didn't have much interest in going to see Creed, I really enjoyed this movie. So right now, we're going to go into movie review mode, just really quickly. And this is the same guy who I guess was in the latest Fantastic Four movie. And he was in something else that I don't remember what it was. But 
he was very good in it. He was really muscular, which I didn't expect based on other things I've seen him in. Uh, Sylvester Stallone as Rocky, as an older Rocky, my goodness, has this guy gotten motivational or what? You just got to love this guy. I don't know who the young lady was, but she was absolutely stunning. Uh, Felicia Rashad was in the movie. She plays the, let's see, she plays Apollo Creed's wife who was cheated on by Apollo Creed who had this son by another woman, and she decides, after finding out about the kid and seeing that he's led this really tough life, to take him into her home. So in essence, he's a street kid who becomes a rich kid, who becomes a privileged kid, but always still wants to fight because he's a fighter. And this is basically the premise of the movie. Uh, he's fought a lot of illegal fights, so to speak, in Tijuana, he now gets to fight this other guy and makes a bunch of money knocking out the number two contender. And some guy in England, who's the manager of the champ, wants him to fight the champ under the name Creed. And this basically reverts Creed, the movie, back to the original movie because it was the exact same thing. Where this guy thinks he can make money off of Creed based on the name and his fighter is getting ready to go to jail. And so he picks up basically an unknown, even though he's got this family name. And of course, the original movie was the same thing, where Apollo Creed picked this unknown club fighter in Philadelphia as a guy to give him a shot at the championship. And you know what? By now, it's two weeks that the movie's been out. So by now, we all know he loses. He loses a split decision. But this movie is so much more than that. Uh, there are a whole lot of emotions in this movie. Uh, it's wonderful. This is just a very good movie. It's not going to be up for any awards. It's, it's just not going to happen. After the original Rocky, none of those movies are up for an awards. Uh, but if there were some, Sylvester Stallone definitely should be up for, what is it, supporting actor? I think, whatever that is. He deserves this. Anyway, now I'm in this movie for almost an hour and a half. So now I go back down to get my phone. The phone is all set. As you can see, it's all totally fixed everything. I've tested the camera. It works wonderful. $85 plus tax came to $91. Still a lot less than that $150 I would have started with. You know, I don't think that my wife and I really have paid much attention to the insurance plan because we are paying an insurance plan. Uh, I don't know how much it is a month, but my goodness. Uh, Verizon, are you guys kidding? I wonder if you're doing the same thing or if at and is doing the same thing and all these other companies sprint. That's just kind of highway robbery in a way. How can you charge so much to repair something like that? Um, I mean, that's phenomenal. And you're going to get beaten up. I mean, I appreciate the customer service that this guy at Verizon gave me to tell me to go to a kiosk. And I'm telling you this because this is going to happen to some of y'all. I know as a matter of fact that it happens. And we always kind of tend to go back to where we bought it. You could probably get a major deal by going to a kiosk in a mall or maybe one of those little small independent places. So do that. And that's basically my story. I left the house at 9.30. I got back home at 3.30. And I had to go to a networking event at 5. Pretty much a wasted day. But you never know what's going to happen. So that's my story. My name is Mitch Mitchell. Hope you enjoyed the story. Hope you learned a lesson. Hope you liked the mini review I gave of Creed. And I will talk to y'all again later.